is all, all around. All, all European countries seem to be heavily in that. How do you see this crisis, where, where, where it started and where it could go? I'm very happy to be with you this, this morning. And as I told you yesterday, that the second time that I'm in Zagreb, the first time was in February 1994, and I was going, uh, traveling to Sarajevo to support the multi-ethnic resistance in the war. And so for me, that's a lot of souvenir, uh, being here with you in Zagreb, in participating to the Subversive Festival. Uh, about the debt in Europe, uh, I would say the main point uh, to, uh, to emphasize is that uh, the main problem is the private debt, the private debt of banks. The main uh, uh, link which is uh, uh, very fragile are the private banks, the big private banks. Deutsche Bank, BNP Paribas, Crédit General, uh, the big European banks are uh, uh, hugely indebted. And uh, the medias and the government are uh, trying to convince the people that the real problem is sovereign debt, public debt, the public debt of Greece. Uh, for instance, and they say if Greece default, uh, it will provoke uh, a new uh, uh, banking uh, crisis. When in reality, uh, we don't have to see uh, Greece defaulting, defaulting to have a banking crisis. Uh, four months ago, for the second time in three years, the French uh, Belgium big bank Dexia uh, bankrupt uh, and, and it should, should have been uh, bailed out by the states of France, uh, Belgium and also Luxembourg for a very huge uh, price. So the question in Europe is that uh, the private sector the private capitalist sector is transferring its private debt to the public sector. And it will create, for sure, a big problem for the states and the government. And the capitalist class is using now the increase of the public debt to say we should uh, launch a new offensive of austerity. So I would say the, the European government and the European Commission and the IMF now are using the actual crisis to, I would say, finish the work which began with Margaret Thatcher in uh, 79, uh, 1979, 80, in Great Britain and which uh, have a, a big uh, influence in, in Europe. Uh, one point I, I would uh, say also is that we don't have to underestimate our enemy. And uh, for me, I would not say uh, that the European Union is imploding. Uh, it's clear that it's a failure at the level of the perspective of a good integration, etc. But uh, we don't have to underestimate the capacity of the dominant classes, the capitalist classes, to use the crisis uh, to uh, uh, increase its profits and to increase its capacity to exploit the, the working class and uh, all and the majority of the population in Europe. And uh, I finished uh, telling that uh, it's very important for me to see that uh, at the level of 
uh, alternative, uh, it's very important to say we don't, as, as uh, people, we don't have to pay an illegitimate debt. Maybe if you ask me, you didn't ask me, I, I, I imagine, if you ask me, does Croatia should enter the Eurozone, I would say absolutely you don't have to enter the Eurozone. Uh, in the Eurozone you will enter in very huge problem as Croatia. So please try to convince yourself and to convince the folk of Croatia not to enter the Eurozone. Uh, uh, because if you enter the Eurozone, you will abandon uh, the margin of maneuver you can have as a sovereign state with its own money. Thank you. Own currency.